All right. Well, uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us this morning for the first day of Exploring California Climate Change Connections with Science Knows Workshop. My name is Orit Kalman, and I'm a senior facilitator with Sac State Consensus and Collaboration Program. I'm grateful for the opportunity to support the Office of Environmental Health Hazards Assessment in convening this workshop. Looking forward to a great uh, couple of days with everyone. Uh, with me today are my colleagues, Kara Taylor Hunt and Mary Winterland Benjamin, the co-producers of the event and your go-to technical support. Uh, I want to take a few minutes to go over the mechanics and uh, process for the day as we get started. Next. So um, as we embark on this two-day journey together, uh, I think this is the wrong slide. <laughs> okay. As we embark on this two-day journey together, we're mindful that um, although we're all getting increasingly more comfortable with this remote format, there might be some glitches and pauses, and we ask for your patience and flexibility throughout the two days. This workshop was originally scheduled to be in person to provide opportunities for networking and connections uh, and learning for all participants. As we transition to planning this as a remote workshop, we uh, turn to engagement tools that although cannot replace face-to-face -face conversations can afford some opportunities for connections. So throughout the workshop, please use the chat panel to connect with Kira and Mary for technical support. Use the Zoom Q&A panel to pose questions to our presenters to inform the panel discussions. We ask our presenters to um, provide poll questions to get your feedback throughout the day. We hope that you will play along and uh, for each poll question, you will have one minute to respond. So uh, we will be doing that throughout the day. To further engage in conversations about the presentations, we have set up Slack a platform where you can engage offline with other participants. So hopefully you were able to sign on to that. An additional bonus is a beautiful graphic recording that will be available on Slack and will highlight key themes from the workshop. We have closed captioning for, uh, for anyone who's interested. You will have to opt in. You can use the live transcript button on the uh, bottom right side and select show or uh, hide subtitles to take advantage of that feature. Next, so I want to just uh, very quickly just uh, show you in terms of just navigating Zoom uh, for the Q&A. Um, it allows you to either vote questions that you feel should be prioritized by presenters and moderators, or you can add a question to be considered for the discussion. Um, next slide. Unanswered questions, which uh, we may have a lot of because we do have a very uh, tight schedule today. Uh, if there are unanswered questions that you want to continue uh, talking about and discussing, you can post those on the Slack platform. We have set up channels for each of the workshop agenda items to help you navigate the different discussions. So you can use uh, Slack to share your thoughts, upload information, submit suggestions for the new 2021 Indicators of Climate Change in California report. So feel free to continue your discussion after the workshop. The Slack channel will be available until February 1st. Next. We're grateful to have um, uh, Addie Lee Brown joining us to capture key themes and ideas from the workshop. Her work will be available on Slack for viewing. Special thanks to Meredith Lee and her team at the West Big Data Innovation Hub for their support of this contribution to the workshop and to uh, Greg Gerhardt and Nick Martorano uh, at the State Water Resource Control Board for making the connection that allowed this to happen. So um, here is a starting point. It's uh, black and white and you can look forward to seeing it uh, 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 having added colors to it and, and seeing uh, how it, it gets transformed throughout the two days. Uh, okay, so uh, now that we address some of the logistics, we can turn to the purpose of the workshop, which is to provide a forum 
for exploring the scientific evidence for the interconnectedness among the ways that the climate is changing, their drivers, their physical and biological impacts across systems and geographies, and their implications for California. Discussion at the workshop will inform the 2021 OIHA report, Indicators of Climate Change in California. A key theme for the two days um, is connections. Next slide. Um, just to review the agenda, we have a full day ahead of us today. We will begin the day with tribal blessings and lands acknowledgement provided by Chairman Valentin Lopez of the Alma Mustang Tribal Band and uh, as well as welcome and opening remarks from Dr. Lawrence Ice, Director of the Office of Environmental Health Hazard Assessment, as well as Jared Blumenfeld, Secretary of California Environmental Protection Agency. Our keynote speaker this morning is Dr. Benjamin Santer, who will share his personal reflections on scientific progress since the 1995 report and findings of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. Carmen Milanes from the Office of Environmental Health Hazard Assessment will provide an overview of the indicators of climate change in California. So in addition to our speakers and keynote presentations, the, the workshop is divided into five themes. Today, we will cover the first three areas, California changing climate indicators, impacts on California physical systems and their connections, impacts on California's health and well-being. And uh, on day two of the workshop, we will cover the other two systems, impacts on California vegetation and California wildlife systems. To just say a little bit more about each session, uh, which we will focus on today and tomorrow, each session is going to consist of four presentations and after a short break, a moderated discussion that will incorporate questions provided through uh, the Q&A panel. Um, in their talks, we ask our presenters to describe changes in climate, uh, change impacts, emphasizing observations and presenting trend data if available. Discuss the factors, including those not related to climate that influence the observed or projected changes and impacts. And to address the important consequences of these changes to the other elements of the environment and to human health and well being, making connections among the four different systems. To make sure that we are mindful of the 15 minute time limit, we um, were asked by our presenter to use a chime to help track time. And I'm going to ask Mary to play the sound that, uh, so you can expect to hear it throughout the day and you're not surprised by it. So uh, Mary, if you wanna just hit our chime. Thank you. Uh, so this will just help us uh, make sure that we are on time and uh, able to hear all the presentations throughout the day. Um, to start the day, we want to acknowledge all of you who have joined us today, bringing diverse perspectives and interests. And uh, here is the first set of poll questions to see who is here. And uh, Mary is going to uh, share the poll with, it, with all of you. And uh, just be mindful, there are three questions that you, there is a gray bar at the top and uh, you might need to scroll uh, down to be able to fill out all the questions. So uh, one minute to uh, tell us who's joining us today. So Mary, I'm gonna let you tell us when we have maybe 10 seconds to make sure everybody gets to respond to the poll. You should see it on your screen now. So we have about 10 seconds remaining. 61% of the participants have voted. Right, okay, and uh, you can scroll down again and, and see who's joining us 
Uh, today, we have majority of our participants, our state, federal, local government joining us, but uh, we, we do have some representing other perspective and uh, looking at the different sources, quite diversity of uh, sources around climate change information, um, looking at literature, publications, news, and mainstream media. Um, and how are you going to use the information? This look uh, is, is quite of interest to us since uh, uh, we're, we're, uh, some, of, some of the work is uh, to inform the report, but we know we're all going to uh, benefit from it. Uh, increasing knowledge base seems to be uh, a major interest for all of us. So um, without further ado, I'd like to uh, turn it over to Lauren Zeiss, Director of the Office of Environmental Health Hazard Assessment, uh, to convene the workshop. 